Trustful Tribune Kids News is fueled by Trustful Gas and Water. Hi, I'm Sarah Marie Budstrom, and I'm here with the Trustful Tribune Kids News on our tour of the splash pads around the eastern Birmingham area. We are here at Pinson's Bicentennial Park, which opened last Labor Day weekend. Visitors can cool off at the splash pad, which has several features, such as super soakers and fountains. We have City Councilman Joe Cochran, who can tell us more about the splash pad. How did the city get the idea to include a splash pad instead of just building a regular park? Well, we listened to the kids in our community, and we looked around at what other communities were doing and decided this is what kids want. I'm assuming you would agree with that. Yes, sir. There you have it. Is the splash pad open to everyone, or Pinson residents, or maybe even people of a certain age group? Well, actually it is open to everyone, but we do have tiered pricing on how you enter the splash pad. If you're a city resident, you pay a dollar. If you're in our police jurisdiction, you pay $3 a person. And if you're outside the city limits, called a non-resident, it's a $5 fee. And as far as an age limit, there's really not an age limit. What's your hope for the splash pad to, at Bicentennial Park to do for the Pinson community? Well, I want it to provide an opportunity for everybody in the community to have fun, to gather around and enjoy one another. That's exactly what we want it to do. Did you know that the Bicentennial Park was made to celebrate the 200th year of Pinson's founding. Splash Pad is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays through Saturdays. It is also open from 1 to 5 p.m. on Sundays, but it is closed on Mondays for maintenance. If you have a story for us, ask your parents to email us at news at trustfultribunes.com. Remember to ki put kids news in the subject line. Trustful Tribune Kids News is fueled by Trustful Gas and Water.